let's start. Today we will see how to implement the multi time frame super trend in the trading view Pine script. This is the indicator function with name multi time frame super trend. The overlay attribute is set to true, which means this indicator would overlay the bar chart. Next, we use the input.timeframe function to accept the user input for the higher time frames. The default value is the daily time frame. Next, we use the input.int function to accept the user inputs for the ATR factor and the super trend period. Then we use the super trend function to calculate the super trend. This function returns two values. One is the super trend and the other one is the direction of the super trend. Next, we use the security function to fetch the higher time frame data of the super trend and the direction of the super trend. The first argument is the ticker ID, which means the current stock name. The second argument is the higher time frame, which the user has selected. The third argument is the current time frame super trend and its direction. We have written bracket 1 in front of the super trend and its direction. Bracket 1 makes sure that the indicator does not repaint while fetching the higher time frame data. The fourth argument handles the gaps. And the last argument fetches the higher time frame data and merges it into the current bars without repainting it. Here we calculate the color of the super trend. If the price is below the super trend, we color it red, and if the price is above the super trend, we color it green. And we color it white, we the super trend switches from green to red and red to green. At last, we plot the higher time frame super trend. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see, this is the input panel of the indicator. The default time frame is daily. I will change the time frame to weekly. Now the indicator is showing the weekly super trend on the daily chart. Now I will change the time frame to monthly. Now the indicator is showing the monthly super trend on the daily chart. Also, this indicator does not repaint, you may check it by doing the action replay of the indicator. Click here to learn how to replay an indicator in the trading view. So that's it. That's how you can implement the higher time frame super trend in the trading view pine script. Thank you.